Hey there, it's Boots Owen here. This is my Black Logic washing machine. It's an L714 WMB13 washing machine. It's uh, in pretty bad state and it won't work. It keeps uh, stopping in the cycle, I think, with a weird error code. So I've got it on a trolley and I'm going to have a go today at wiring the motor so that I can destroy it with a brick. Just like that. But, uh, you know, you could use this for a more practical purpose and this video should serve to explain how to hotwire a universal washing machine motor. This is a universal motor because you can run it on AC or DC. It's got brushes, that's how you would identify it, and it's on a washing machine. So if it's on a washing machine and it's got brushes, these are the brush holders here, it's got carbon brushes acting on that commutator ring, then it's probably a universal motor. So let's go up to the top because I need a piece of cable. So where the cable comes in, there's a little torque screw. If I unscrew that, I should be able to remove this cable. That. Let's see, how does that come out then? It should twist through 90 degrees and then pull out like that. And inside, and inside the cables run down to this uh, mains voltage suppressor and interference suppressor. So we need to get them off that. So I need something to cut the cable tie and I should unscrew the two screws that hold the suppressor on as well. Then it should just, it just hooks on so it should just fall out and I'll be able to get those cables off. And then the other thing was this cable tie here. So just pop it in. That's it off. Now, this is here. There we go. That's it out. Just give it a yank, maybe. That's the cables. I have to cut this off. I'm not trying to salvage anything else off the washing machine, so I'm not really worried about it. There we go. And then this should... Oh, it's held on with a screw here as well. I could just cut it, of course, but... Uh, well, I haven't. There it is. That's my cable, so that's a start. So on this machine there's space to get in at the bottom but sometimes you have to try and do this from behind or you might want to take the motor off first to do it on the bench but you'll have the motor it's attached with a belt to a pulley in the machine and we'll get this clip off first so just wiggle it off what i can see here is this metal bracket that holds the clip it has little plastic clips there so i can pull it out and then i can see that this one has an awful lot of cables going into it one two three four five six seven eight nine cables some of these will only have six if your machine only has five it's not a universal motor that's probably not a universal motor and so you'll need to look at my other video on how to wire a three-phase washing machine motor or an induction motor that's not as easy. So this should come apart, but oh, there's a little clip on it there I can see. All right, let's pop that up. In my case, I might just break that off. There we go. So if we look underneath on this connector block, we've got a gray cable going to this brush. We've got a blue cable coming from the brush on top. I think it's this blue one here, and I've got a gray cable coming. I can see that it comes from this brush here. So the red ones here come from the taco. I can ignore them completely because I don't need them for hot wiring it. So I need power coming into a brush, jumping from the other brush to a coil, and then jumping from a coil out. On the basis that green is sometimes earth, and there's another green here, I'm gonna maybe avoid this green one, and just try a combination of in and out with the other cables, and we'll see if it works. So here's the power cord that I salvaged from above. I'll put that into the brush that I know to be a brush. Then I'll jump from well, a blue to a blue, how about that? A blue to a blue, and that way you've probably hit one of them. And then from there, out into, uh, just pick one of the other coils. Let's see if it works. So then, let's, uh, let's plug it in and see what happens. Hmm, nothing. Nothing, so that one didn't work. So in that case, I'm going to just check for voltage on the cables. Yeah, I'm getting mains voltage there. So I'll put them back in. 
and hmm. So we want the power coming into a brush, jumping with this little jumper cable from a brush to a coil and then coming out through another coil. So what I'm going to do is just check which one's the other brush. So I'll turn my multimeter onto continuity, bearing in mind that I've got live electricity here. Let's see if it's this one. Yeah, okay, so it's this one. So, I should put this one on here. Uh, maybe it'll just start. So, let's see. It doesn't like that for some reason. Let's plug it out again. <clears throat> it was going there for a second, but I didn't like it. I don't know why. that again let's just give it a turn over it's doing some weird fault I've plugged it out again it's doing some weird fault that I haven't seen before so let's just try it on a different coil the pink one this time nothing there it could be that the motor is a dud you know that's the other side of it Just trial and error now at this point. <laughs> Worked that time. Worked that time. So let's do it again. It's already going for full destruction. So it's plugged out again, but let's just have a look at how I've done it. So I've got the power in the brown going into the gray here. So that's going into a coil. Then I've got the little jumper cable going from the blue coil to the, I think we're on pink this time. And then the neutral is going to the green over on the left. So you want the power coming into a coil or a brush, jumping from a brush to a coil or vice versa, and then coming out through the opposite one. Have a look at my other video for how to wire these things. I'll put a link somewhere. And uh, questions or comments, leave them below. Thanks for watching. See you later.